What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, P Shizzle, coming right back at y'all with a brand new video. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And before we really get into it, make sure you visit my partners, BigJeffAudio.com, GetLoudCardio.com, and TimpanoAudio.com. There will be links in the description. Use discount code P Shizzle. Get yourself a little 5% off and, you know, go on about your business. But, yo, today we got ourselves a backup camera. The reason this thing is important is because when I got my new CD player, I couldn't use my factory backup camera and I don't want to total my car or anything like that because if I total my car, I can't use no subs or nothing like that. So kind of got to have this. And also I've never hooked this up before, but I've done a lot of review or I've read a lot of reviews about this on Amazon and they say it's supposed to be easy. So hopefully it is because I ain't trying to have nothing complex, but let's go ahead and get into it. I'm use my bear claws to open this up real quick. Okay, okay. Oh snap, the first thing I notice is some electrical tape. I will take it. You can never have too much electrical tape. Okay. We got a prying tool. Might come in handy. We got some zip ties. Always need some zip ties. And we got the power cord. I'm assuming I'm gonna take this loose real quick. All right. So I know this goes to the back of my CD player for sure. This is the ground wire and this is the positive wire. It's only three wires, it can't be that hard. And this, I ain't got a clue. I don't think I need it, whatever that is. So we got that. We got some screws and some sticky tape. We'll take that. I think this is the thing that I put on my license plate. Yep, it's actually pretty heavy. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And this is the bread and butter. This thing is tiny. I wonder if I have a quarter or something. Yeah, this is the camera. We got our wiring. I think this is for like my parking brake so I can use the camera without it being in reverse. I don't care about that. I only want it to work when it's in reverse. I guess for reference, I'm gonna show y'all my garage key. And this is the camera. Super small. But yeah, we're gonna try to hook this up and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, you guys. So one thing I forgot to show you is my T-caps. I'm gonna be using these things right here for one, because I hate stripping wire, especially wire this, this tiny, because you kind of mess it up if you cut it too much. So we're just going to tap into one wire and then connect it to the next wire. So we got a bunch of those. Never used them before, but I've only heard good things about them. Secondly, this thing came with very, very detailed instructions. We'll be putting this to use. And what's this right here? Installation of print pictures. I guess it's showing you where all you can put your camera at and whatnot. <clears throat> this is only gonna be a backup camera. That's it. Don't need all that extra stuff. So yo, we are about to get to it. All right, so basically what we are about to try to do now is figure out where my reverse lamp is because I have no idea. So we are about to put it in reverse, put it in park, cut the car off and see where we need to start. you guys so we're almost done with the back I'll show you how it looks closed 
I didn't take my old camera off because I don't want an empty space there. So I just jam packed this new one underneath it. All right. So as far as connections, we tap into our reverse light for the power wire and for the ground, we ground it onto whatever this is. In the manual, it says it needs its own ground. So I couldn't ground off of the ground wire of the reverse light so that's where we're at right now and yes i'm gonna leave this hanging like it is because this cover is gonna go over that and you're not gonna be able to see it anyway so it is what it is <sighs> boy i am tired so all right y'all so i think we have everything complete y'all please don't laugh at how i wired my cd player uh cry right here on this video right now I think i'm playing <laughs> no nah, but uh I got my, I think that's the video camera RC. We got that plugged in and I also got it tapped in to something called reverse. On the manual, let me get the manual out real quick. It says that that's supposed to go to the trigger wire. I don't know what the hell the trigger wire is, but I know that it's supposed to be somehow connected to the reverse light. So maybe that's it. We got that tapped in pretty good. So before we lock everything back in, I'm gonna cut the car on and we're gonna see if it works. Cause if it doesn't work, I might cry for real. I don't know. Let's see. All right, y'all. So we got the car on. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I'm scared to put this thing up in reverse. Cause I've been out here all day messing with this stuff. But anyway, let's get into it. Oh snap, it freaking works. Hold up. Why is it two, why is it two things instead of one? Uh, I'm confused y'all. Maybe I do need to go unhook the old camera, maybe. I don't know y'all, let me go mess with some stuff and I'll be back. All right y'all, so check it out. I'm about to put it in reverse. And we still got two guidelines after I unhooked the old camera. But I think I done figured it out. Let's go to home, settings, I think it's input, rear camera. I think if you turn these parking guidelines off, I think that other one, that other line thing, it will disappear. Yes, sir. So yeah, we about to put all this shit back up in here. I'm not gonna record it cause I'm tired, I'm gonna go drink a beer. But y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy P Shizzle. We'll be right back with another video very soon.